Okay, we've seen all the videos. Just get into a good shadowing position. We're fine. Not too much space, not too close. This is good. I think he messed up. This is gonna go right into me. If I flick right now, this will be it. Did I get it? But I thought that he... Did he not? Did he just fake me? All right, what's going on, Rocket League player? Pink Woodpecker here. I hope you enjoy the little mini montage at the beginning. Really quick, before I jump into the video, I wanna make sure that you know that I'm running a giveaway. I'm giving out 3,500 credits in total. If you wanna know how to get into this giveaway, check the description below. All the instructions are there. Let's continue. All right, so uh, if you know me or if you play with me at all, I love fakes. They're like the absolute best thing ever. Uh, <laughs> I use them, I do them a lot. Guilty as charged, I'm sorry if I have faked you before. And don't get me wrong, I've also been faked and it hurts every single time. It's just a stab at your soul when it happens to you. Which is why I love doing it. So I wanna bring up really quick some of the best times that I have found through my journeys when attempting to fake uh, to increase your success rate and potentially increase your happiness from how many fakes you're able to get. So let's do that. Scenario number one is when you have multiple options for a shot. For example, if you're dribbling, you could fake the flick or you could just drop it off of your car. You could even fake a touch, catch it, and then flick it again, right? Because they're not gonna be expecting that. Another great time is when you have a hook shot on the ball. These happen all the time because the player that is on the defending side thinks you're about to shoot it with a bunch of power. Instead, you drop a real close to it, you do nothing, and then you hit it in. Ha ha ha! 
Or you could fake the aerial touch and end up going low instead, getting the ball under them or even around them. Another great option is faking the direction. Instead of playing it into the corner, play it into the middle. Favorite scenario number two is when the defense has to go for a save based on the shot you have available, right? It could be the power, it could be the angle, whatever the case may be, they have to jump for it because if they don't, there's no way they can get to it. You see these all the times and I like to call them panic dives, right? The defense pre-flips in front of the goal line, attempting to save it, but instead of you hitting it, you just let them fly by in the distance. It's beautiful. Or when you have a really good power shot near the net, they just can't save that. Or they can, they'll try, they'll pre-jump, they'll miss because you didn't touch it, and it just rolls right in. Or if you're playing against a team who challenges every single ball and they're pre-jumping everything, just stop hitting it. I mean, they'll take themselves out of the play. It's a beautiful thing. Fakes don't just apply to shots as well, right? You can also go for fake challenges. Instead of challenging the ball, just fake it, they throw away possession to you, and then you can go for a shot. Or you know, you could fake it too. And then last, but definitely not least, are chain fakes. Perfect. Once you start living in their head rent free, there's nothing they can do. They'll never know if you're going to flick it, if you're going to drop it, if you're going to go for the aerial touch, if you're actually, you are going to go for the hook shot. They are literally second guessing every single decision, every single challenge because you're in their head. If you like this video, don't forget to fake hit the subscribe button and actually, no, please actually hit that. That'd be great. If you, if you like this video at all. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.